We're taking control today. We're hunting for scraps. My wood scraps. This is walnut. It's a piece I cut too short for my napkin holder. Hard to tell. It's probably maple. I think that's maple. Mr. Naughty Bowl, he's still up there. We haven't forgotten about you, Mr. Naughty Bowl. Scraps down here. There's the ham and cane. And this might be perfect. It is cherry flooring that I used to make boxes out of. We'll use a piece of plywood as well. But let me cut these down to a more reasonable size. We can go ahead and glue these up. For that, we're going to be using this bizarre substance called wood glue. And, oh, I guess I should decide. It's like one of those logic puzzles. I don't want the maple and the cherry to touch. I don't want the plywood on the outside. Maple, plywood, walnut, cherry. I think that's a good combination. Cool. And while that's drying, let's get our process dialed in. This bandsaw table has many amazing uses, but I only ever use it for cutting circles because it's more sophisticated than I am. Today, we're going to be using it to cut a part of a circle. Yeah, we're going to hot glue this stack of plywood and this strip of plywood together. Let's, uh, let's drill some holes in here. That is a 5 16th inch bolt, so we want a hole that's slightly larger than that, um, and that would be 11.30 seconds. I totally didn't look that up on the internet. Turns out it doesn't even matter if my integrity is questionable or not. It's the wrong answer. So I'm actually going to use 2164th. It's just a half inch socket. Fits around there. Loosens it up. I'm going to move our pivot point. I want to just bite a little bit, maybe an eighth of an inch out of the end of this piece here. Got a nice gentle curve here. I think I want more than that. This is a tiny little wedge of a 24 inch circle. So if we want this curve to be tighter, then we want a smaller circle. So let's, so let's do another one like there. I don't want to overdo it, but I think I can go even a little bit more than that. So that's not quite what we were hoping for, so I moved the pivot point forward, and we're going to take another bite here. Much better. Okay, that's, that's much better. Now that we've got this all dialed in, all we have to do is start taking slices. So we loosen the pivot point. Move it forward about an eighth of an inch. Tighten it down. Cut off a slice.
as you can see, we've still got quite a lot of block here. We can definitely take more slices, but um, did a different sanding method on some of these. Um, sort of a rectangle, and then this half round, uh, this large round, and then this sort of surfboard shape. And then I also took a block of walnut that I had and made a couple passes on it. Comes pretty nice off the bandsaw if you've got a sharp blade, which I do. So I'm just going to do a little 240. 240 grit is fine for this project. Yeah, 240 is, is fine. It's more than enough. Fine. So I sanded everything to 400. You know what? It's a sickness. Finished, we're just going to use some wipe on polyurethane. The only thing we need to do now is glue these little hair clips that I bought. I used hot glue in the past, but didn't last as long. It doesn't hold as well as epoxy does. Can't get them all on screen. Where should I? I'll just put it there. I'll put it like that. Now I'll just toss it. That's fine. It's not my favorite. Oh, really? Which one's your favorite? Um, I like the rectangle one. In the, the, back. the walnut rectangle one? No. <laughs> <laughs> that one is cool. I like that one too. It's very simple. One of the things that I really enjoyed about this is the last time I made these, which by the way, that video was terrifying. Have you seen it? Did I show it to you? No. It's before I show my face on camera. I don't talk and I thought I was going to cut off my finger. Yeah, this was a much better method. So a couple of these fell out and they worked just fine without them. So I'm thinking they're for people like without a lot of hair. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think they're necessary? Because I don't know what happened to them. They might be on the ground in the top someplace. <laughs> but I lost a couple of these little bridgy things. Um, you tested it in your hair? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got an inch and a half of hair on top of my head. Well, you said they worked just fine. Well, I mean, they open and they close. <laughs> oh, okay. See, look. Open. Close. close. I feel like Grover. <laughs> what do you even call them? Are they barrettes? So I have- If you're 180. So what do you call them? Head clips? Hair clips, not head clips. Hair clips. You're not putting them in your head. These are really fun to make and I really enjoyed revisiting this project, giving it another shot. I hope it was enjoyable to watch. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. We will see you next time.